What I want to remind you is I want to remind you that when you're in a partnership with Baller Media or you've been thinking about being a client or a part of our network or about part of anything that we're doing, you know that our job is to communicate your message by any means necessary. We're an advertising agency. Our job is to take whatever's in your heart, whatever you're doing, and communicate that through the avenues that's available to us. A lot of it's digital, some of it's not, some of it's print. It really doesn't matter. In the end, you have a message. You need to grow your bottom line. You need to be successful in your company. You need to do the things you want to do. You have a message that you deem as valuable. Our job is to learn about you, research you, create a relationship with you, and articulate that message effectively so your customers, clients, or patients take action, and they hire you, and they use your services. These are things that we're always thinking of with you. If you are doing business with Baller Media and you're one of our clients, first of all, I want to say I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful that you have decided to partner with us and move forward. I'm, just, I'm so grateful for those that have been there with us for the long haul. You know that we are working our butts off to really create success in your life. And we want to go through the thick and thin with you and create solutions and solve problems. So please reach out to us at any moment and let us know how we're doing. I wanted to create, as the owner of this company, I wanted to create an open door policy with clients. So please, reach out to us, talk to us, and let's continue to grow our relationship. Here we are, we're at Baller Media in Coeur d'Alene. Since we last been with you, we've created Baller Media, formerly CJEP Studio. The door is unlocked, <laughs> and we have Baller Media also in Spokane now. This, is where we work. we're gonna turn the lights on. They don't like the lights on because they're all zombies. We pulled everybody and they like the damn lights off. I don't know what Megan thinks. Megan, what do you think? What do you like, lights off or on? Well, so far it's been off every time, so I've kind of got used to it. What do you prefer? I think the lights off to get the outside light, I guess. And this is Megan McPhee. Uh, she's actually, are you interning now? I'm interning. So she's an intern. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? This is for a website, um, Namaste Foods. So you're sketching yeah. it out, then yeah. putting it digitally. That's pretty cool. Good job, Megan. Thanks. We're just really grateful for being able to bring in younger people out of college or in college. Just let them experience the culture and give them something to do and just continue to grow. Um, so it's pretty cool. Actually, Georgia is back. She's going to be here during the summer working with us. Let's reintroduce you guys since we're starting this back up. I want to reintroduce you guys to the team. Alyssa <laughs> on the videography team. She's a videographer, editor. Um, she's killing it. She works here in the Coeur d'Alene office. Brian, we can't forget, old timer. He's been here for a while. His beard's probably gotten longer and he's got a tail now. So can you show off that tail? Yeah, flip it. It's like a Viking. I love it. Oh, snap. Slow mo that. <laughs> Baller Media Godfather John, who's our first staff member other than myself. And he's been here ever since and he's doing John things. Justin is our digital marketing expert. Everybody in here is so valuable, but Justin's been killing it in that area, and he also designs. He's a jack of all trades. He's working on uh, Holistic Wellness Coaching Academy. Brittany, shout out to you. Um, he's working on your stuff. This is Carly. You may all have not really seen Carly, other than maybe a few videos on our Facebook. Carly does social media and a whole lot more, but that's kind of where she's delegated to. She's eating ice cream. Uh, but yeah, hey Carly. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Carly's awesome. And then if you flip around here, you're going to see these two children. That's our HR department. Uh, so, you know, we got Presley and Reese. These are my kids. And they're just a part of the family. We come in sometimes and hang out. And look at this. We've started to add plants to the office. We're just becoming so, we're becoming so official. We need the plants today. So, uh, oh yeah, hold on. Give me this. And we have. Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going, Josh? Hey. Yeah, so that's Josh. Uh, he's a part of the videography team, and um, he's amazing. He's been here for so long, he's one of the OGs. I'm glad we get to meet Megan, see the kids, see the plants. If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner or you're doing something in the community or the economy or the market, it doesn't really matter what it is. One thing I've noticed in me and in a lot of others is we're all idea people, and I want to like kind of squash the myth of the ideas, right? I've said this before, ideas are kind of bullshit. Like ideas are plentiful, but I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna say ideas are infinite. You will never have a lack of ideas. 
I want to tell you this. I've talked to so many entrepreneurs and clients and they're like, oh my gosh, I have all these ideas that I want to do and it's so busy and overwhelming. The truth is having a ton of ideas with a lot of half-assed efforts in all of them because you're spreading yourself too thin is a very sucky problem to have and it's like the easy way, right? It doesn't feel easy, but it's easy because you're just kind of giving a portion to yourself to each idea. What I want you to do is I want you to resolve in your mind that a lot of ideas at a half-assed effort on all of them is not the way to go and you know this inside. I just want to articulate it to you and bring it to your attention. Try to find that one idea that you really like. Trust me, there's going to be a lot more that you're going to think are just as important. Learn to say no to your ideas. There will be more and more ideas forever. That, will, that is something that will never run out. It's a never ending well, ideas are. But what is very limited is action. If you're the kind of person that has so many ideas and it seems like none of them are working, it's because you're not giving any of them your all or your all your energy or all your effort. They're all gonna fail because any idea worth anything deserves your full attention. So pick one, go into it, dive in. If it fails, guess what? You have this never ending basket of uh, more ideas that you can apply to your life. So choose to take the path less traveled and start taking action on that one thing that's gonna bring you success. And I promise, once you start seeing that success on that one idea, your bandwidth will grow and you'll start to be able to have those second businesses and those second side hustles and the more things that you wanna do. You'll be able to compound ideas. Remember that. So stick with one and say no to the rest and watch it grow.